Welcome to episode 93, Sergey Brin and Google 10 Lessons. This is an outline of episode 93. Lesson number one, make the world a better place. The idea is that we take the, all the world's information and make it accessible and useful to everyone. And that's our mission. And that's a pretty important mission. Ultimately, having the right information available to you uh, at any time when you need it is extremely valuable. And it can make a huge difference to your health, to your career, to your entertainment, uh, to, all the, to your education, to all the most important things about you. Do, do you tell yourself, I changed the world? Uh, I think that would be a little bit self-centered, but, uh, but I certainly focus on, uh, you know, what, what can I do better? Lesson number two, Google almost sold itself for $1.6 million to Excite.com. The meeting was brokered by Renaud Kostler, another famous Stanford graduate. In the end, um, I don't think the management team there was quite as excited about it, no pun intended. Um, but I remember we were, you know, we were just, there were four grad of us at the time, four grad students at Stanford. And I remember we fired off a note to the note. It was just like a little email. We said like, you know, we don't really want to sell, but okay, for $1.6 million, you got a deal. Lesson number three, fight evil empire. Take the offense initiative. For example, Gmail versus Hotmail. For example, Google Doc versus Microsoft Office. Uh, and then 10 years later, Microsoft fought back with Bing, which was too little, too late. I was just trying to think of, of something interesting, and so what, what popped into my mind was just don't be evil. When I came in, I thought this was a joke. I thought that it was just a way of marketing within the company. I said, Mr. Gates, what is your nightmare? And I thought he would say Apple or Netscape or Oracle. And he said, I'll tell you what I worry about. I worry about some guy in a garage inventing a new technology Microsoft has never thought about. Lesson number four, fight censorship, fight China. Billions of people around the world use Google, except in China. Google abandoned its Chinese search business seven years ago because of government censorship and cyber attacks to Gmail. The tech giant first started operating in the country in 2006. Four years later, it left after cyber attacks against its Gmail service and disagreement with the Chinese government over censoring its content. Now, over 700 million Chinese internet users can't access Google's search engine, map, or YouTube. Lesson number five, Google is best place to work. Lesson number six, adult supervision, hire Eric Schmidt. Well, Eric Schmidt was a genuine geek, PhD in computer science from UC Berkeley. He was the CEO of Novell from 1997 to 2001. Now, you can't, you can't really think about the internet, of course, without thinking about Google, right? Who introduced Dr. Eric Schmidt, Google's CEO. Congratulations, Steve. What an incredible job. Lesson number seven, Stanford makes a big difference. I think Stanford is a really unique place. And if you look at it from an entrepreneurial point of view, the history, looking at uh, Hewlett Packard, um, Sun Microsystems. But I think one of the things that is missing is this top-notch university industry symbiosis. I don't think I've seen the same kind of scale in research and commercialization pretty much anywhere outside of Stanford. And a friend of theirs, and Andy Bechtelsheim, one of the founders of Sun Microsystems, pulls up in his sports car 
walks up, gets about a 10 minute demo, says, this is fantastic. This is the next big, big thing and writes a check on the spot for $100,000 made out to Google Inc. Lesson number eight, don't forget your roots. Hear Bryn interview in Moscow in fluent Russian. Lesson number nine, do it yourself IPO. I pass Wall Street. On their first day of trading as a public company, they raised $1.7 billion in cash and made the stock of Google as valuable as General Motors. Sergey Brin and Larry Page achieved that success despite cutting the professional investment community out of the process. Most of Wall Street wanted this offering to fail, loved that it was developing problems, and hoped that the stock price would crater or the offering would be postponed. The offering went off as scheduled, but the outcome was often in doubt. Google's decision to snub Wall Street investment bankers in favor of a complicated auction process soured big institutional buyers. And it was certainly risky to debut an internet company in a sinking market for technology stocks. Lesson number 10, Google wins in a crowded field. Google is the sixth search engine after Yahoo, Excite, Alta Vista, etc. PhD programs to focus on attracting funding for their young company. It wouldn't be easy. Investors like Ram Shuram were skeptical. There were five search engines at the time, and so I said maybe any one of them might be interested in the technology. The world didn't need a sixth search engine. Google just didn't fit into the conventional wisdom of what a website should do, which was to keep users from migrating to another page. Google did the unthinkable. It helped users explore the wider web. They went back to Ram Sharam. They found three other investors, and together we raised enough money to get them off the ground. Enough money was one million dollars. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and leave your comments and questions below. Wishing everyone peace and prosperity.